myself Dr. Amit Joshi, I am a consultant medical oncologist at Tata Memorial Hospital working in the designation of Professor Medical Oncology and uh, my primary area of, of interest here is the urological malignancy, the uh, head and neck and thoracic cancer. Basically the overall incidence of this testicular cancer in world is approximately 1% of all malignancy. But if you come to the age group between the age of 15 to 40 year it is the most common malignancy worldwide. The incidence of this testicular cancer is very uh, is more in the uh, uh, New Zealand, Australia and other western countries where the incidence varies from uh, 7 to 10 approximately per 1 lakh population but in India this incidence is around 1 to 2 per 1 lakh po population but this number might not be the right uh, number because, because of the heterogeneity in the data re reporting. So, uh, though, uh, data wise it is less but in practical we might have more number of cases compared to what has been re uh, reported in the literature. This is very important question. The age group which is most commonly affected by testicular tumor is between age of 15 to 40 years. So, this is the age group which is uh, very active and which has uh, so much responsibility and so much burden on, the, on, the, uh, on their head. So, the, uh, the, uh, cure, if you come to the cure rate of this uh, these cancer, it is one of the most, co uh, 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 most common cancer which can be cured with effective treatment. If uh, basically this cancer usually we deals into stage 1, 2 and 3. If you come to the stage 1, if you detect this cancer at the stage 1, approximately 90 percent of patient can be cured. If you come to the stage 2, approximately uh, 70 to 80 percent patient can be cured if you detect in, uh, in this stage 2 and stage 3 still it can be cured in 7, uh, 60 to 70 percent of ca cancer. But as usual in our country unfortunately we have to deal with a large number of patients who comes in advanced state of, of disease but still with the effective chemotherapy we can re reach the cure rate of approximately 50 to 60 percent of these patients if we treat them properly. The main challenges of uh, this uh, treatment uh, treating this disease is the uh, late presentation of patient to the tertiary uh, cancer care center. So, whenever patient comes to uh, in our hospital, uh, we see hardly uh, around uh, 10 to 20 percent patients come into the stage 1, where in western world this ratio is reversed. Approximately 80 to 90 percent of patient comes to stage 1 and in our country approximately 80 to 90, 80 to 90 percent patient come with the stage 2 or a stage 3. So, that is the biggest challenge in treating these, uh, these patients and if you come to the logistic problem um, uh, in our hospital, we see a patient uh, coming from different parts of the uh, world, particularly the north and the northeast part and uh, when patient comes to the our hospital, the most important problem they face is or the major problem they face is the financial constraints to treat this cancer and the logistic problem in staying uh, um, uh, in Mumbai for uh, taking full treatment of this cancer. The, our efforts is to uh, uh, treat all these patients at our center so that they get effective treatment and we can increase their chances of cure. Uh, whenever any new uh, new patient of uh, suspected uh, or diagnosed, so whenever patient comes they may be divided into two uh, categories, one which have a diagnosis outside and then they have referred to our hospital for further management and other is that uh, uh, we have to uh, uh, um, 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 keep a patient which have uh, not diagnosed and comes with the um, uh, diagnosis of uh, and we have to make the diagnosis of testicular cancer at our our, our, our hospital. So, in um, 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 uh, our hospital uh, whenever new patient comes the case is seen by a multidisciplinary joint team what we call as MDT where the uh, uh, uro uh, uh, surgeon is there, a medical oncologist is, is there and a pathologist is there and a radiation oncologist is there. We discuss the case in, in our multidisciplinary joint uh, meeting and uh, the management will depend upon the stage of the disease. If the, their testicular te, uh, testis has not been operated, then first we go for a what we call as archidectomy and then we go for a CT scan to stage the disease. The sample is sent to the pathology uh, uh, lab for knowing the exact type of the testicular tumor and then treatment will be delivered as per the stage of the disease. So, some um, early stage will be treated with a single cycle of chemotherapy or radiotherapy, little bit advanced stage will be de 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 uh, de dealt with the 3 cycle of chemotherapy and more advanced cases will be dealt by 4 cycle of chemotherapy. And then after completion of chemotherapy a repeat scan is done to know the uh, whether there any residual disease is there. If there is a residual disease then we go for a radiotherapy or surgery depending on the type of the, of, of the cancer. Basically as a country of India we have to go a long way in uh, um, ap uh, approaching the cure rate which had been seen in the uh, western world because of the late presentation. 
but in due course of time uh, awareness has uh, the doctors in the periphery are now becoming more aware of this disease entity they are referring the patient at early stage of the of the of the of the disease and the importance of of early diagnosis and treatment is now prevailing more in that so in future we see that the uh, cure rate will increase uh, what we are seeing in our uh, scenario right now and the second aspect is the for these patient uh, uh, from the uh, treatment and long term so the other aim of, of uh, for these patient is that these patients should not get the long term toxicity of this treatment and the rehabilitation after going back to the uh, their local place in terms of their psycho uh, psychological social and the job prospective so we see uh, what i can perceive is the uh, treatment result will be going to be better in due course of time and we should we are putting all, all our efforts to increase this